Ghosts. Welcome to another episode of Urban Ghosts, Urban Exploration, guys. I want to do a big shout out to USA Benefits Group here in Spring Hill, Florida. There, this video's sponsor. Um, not really a paid sponsorship. They didn't pay us to do this, but they let us, believe it or not, film at an abandoned location that they happen to own. Big, they big gigantic thank you to Richard and Jessica Banfield who own uh, USA Benefits Group here in Spring Hill, Florida. Guys, they are a national health insurance broker here in Spring Hill. As a matter of fact, Joe and I actually might be talking to them because we, you know what? We need some health insurance. They're just really, really good people. I love it when I go into an establishment and people are super, super approachable. If you're interested in, in pursuing health insurance for any reason, want to get some rates, some information, give them a call. The phone number is 352-835-7405. I can pretty much guarantee at the very least you'll have an awesome, awesome experience and maybe get some awesome plans that'll work for you i don't know yet i don't know yet but you know what these people are awesome so i'm gonna give them a shout out and we're gonna check them out as well to see if we can't maybe do some business with them just because we had such an awesome experience and they let us film their band in place <laughs> anyway guys talking too much already i'm gonna let you see the video but <clears throat> Welcome to another episode of Urban Ghost Urban Exploration, guys. I'm excited tonight. I'm excited for so many reasons, but the main reason is the location that Rob and I are at tonight. Now, in the beginning of this video, you're going to see a little commercial that Rob put together for these very nice people who let us come to the abandoned mini golf course that they own. Now, the reason why I'm super excited about this, Rob and I shot a video here, I don't know, maybe over a year ago. This is one of the places that, um, that I got in trouble for, but now I'm back with permission. It feels so good, and uh, I'm super excited about this now. We're going to actually do a couple of things tonight. So I'm going to be filming inside first, Rob will be filming outside, then I'm going to film outside, then Rob's going to film inside, so you have all different perspectives. Um, it's a super cool place. I'm so stoked about this guys You guys are coming with and we're gonna have some fun and hopefully ooh, some scary times guys. Love you All right, I wanted to show you around here <laughs> This place at night is super spooky. There's woods behind here now the owner did share with us that there were uh, people coming and going from this place so they boarded it up. Now they did let us remove one of the boards. We were able to remove it partially to get inside. And uh, we're gonna re-board it up after we leave. I'm excited about this one. Yeah, yeah cool. this is gonna be cool. All right, so Rob's gonna go one direction. I'm gonna go another. And uh, I'm super excited about this, guys, so. What's weird is I thought I heard talking in the woods over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was definitely looking. Yeah, now it's very You know what I noticed? It's a shame. Now we can go underneath there too. Rob's probably gonna check it out first. I'm gonna go inside, but this place, is, it's very unfortunate, but a lot of people vandalized this place since we last been here. I mean, it's worse off than it was before. Now, it says no trespassing, but for us tonight, we're okay. Where I, you know, it's very, it's very, very creepy. Even though there's a road right here, guys, it's creepy because back there, uh, you know, that's where people hang out and live. It's, it's sad, but they also have used this place before to uh, 
probably take cover. It's, like I said, it's a sad situation. Now, as you can see, there's remnants of people being here. There's still some tickets from the mini golf course on the floor. And as you can see, this place is boarded up. But I'm going to do a quick walk around before I go inside. And as you can see, like, the wood is so decrepit here. Years of neglect. Now, one of the things about this place is I used to take my kids here when they were little, and that's weird. I guess there was some kind of light or something. Okay, that's a light. I guess they were still using that. I don't believe there's electricity here, however. But anyway, I was saying that I uh, used to take my kids here when they were little, and this place at one time meant a lot, not only to me, but to my kids. And what's really interesting about this place as well is that when I was here, <laughs> we definitely picked up some, like, creepy stuff. <laughs> Alright, now, this is the board. It was already loose, but Rob and I are going to, you know, screw this back in before we go. So this is my way in, guys. I hope that's Rob that I hear. I don't like the fact that that bathroom is closed off like that. And I'm gonna hopefully not run into Anybody in here? Is anybody in there? Who's in there? I'm taking photos. Now 
I don't know if that's Rob outside. <sighs> that was crazy. It might not seem crazy to you guys, but being in here, it is enormously scary. Now it seems like mostly everything that was here last time is pretty much gone. There was all kinds of like golf clubs and a whole slew of like prize toys that you would win. Look what this is. Is that a camera? Mirrors from the bathroom. Alright guys, I'm in a room that's not much bigger than my own bathroom and I'm creeped out in here for real. <laughs> Alright, there are some golf clubs still here. What is this? Oh, a charger. Sad to see this place in such disarray. Now here's the cool thing. Rob and I may talk to the owners about purchasing this place and redoing it and using it for like a studio for us. is I keep thinking I'm hearing something beyond this door now. Obviously, there's no way there's somebody behind that door. I would see their feet. been a long time since I've been in this place and like I said the last time I was here I got in trouble um, but it's good to be back with permission this is like it's almost weird because <laughs> you know here I am um, I stood in this very room uh, with all four of my kids at one time coming up to this counter and uh, lots of memories lots and lots of memories here No way. There was just a voice behind me. I mean... Can you say that again, please? Crazy, right? So it's crazy, like... We just did a video not that long ago at a concrete factory in the daytime. And I didn't even realize it, because usually I put my headset on and I listen for things. Um, when we do these creepy explorers, and I didn't think to do that because I just assumed that there would be nothing in it, but there was whispers in it. And I just heard whispers here. Now granted, Rob's outside, but trust me, that was in here. Anyway, um... Okay. Anyway, um, lots of memories here, guys. I made a video here for my kids, and uh, it'd be kind of cool if I was able to purchase this place and renovate it. It'd be kind of cool. We could do our live streams here. We could do, like, a podcast and all kinds of different stuff. Obviously, it needs a lot of work. Um, a lot of emotion here for me. A lot of emotion. 
Anyway, I'm not sure if Rob's going to be able to come in as I did because it does appear that the, um, the, the, the opening in <laughs> may be uh, too small for him, you know. Um, but we'll see. He'll try, I suppose. Um, but, okay, so I heard something here. Can you say something? If there's somebody here or something here. And there's a motorcycle passing right at this time. Hello? Yeah, I don't hear anything. But I want to check out what this thing is on the floor. Not quite sure what that is. Hmm. And then there's money here. Hmm. Why would somebody leave money in here? There's another quarter. Anyway, I'm going to come back here and do an alone challenge one night because they've been so nice to let us do it. Now I'm going to leave. I'm really curious to see if one, I'm crazy and just thought I heard voices or when I play this back if there were voices because it sure sounded like it. And of course I'm going to move these tables out of the way so I can actually step out of here without getting on these tables. Wait a second, is that a rosary? Look at that, part of a rosary. All right, one last chance if there's anything here. Okay. Now the fun part, guys, getting back out of this building. Oh look, there's a bunch of a uh, bunch more tickets up here too. Just the head batting cages. signage for security cams. It's very unfortunate that this place has gone so bad since I last been here. I mean it's really fallen to ruin. And of course vandalism, which is very, very unfortunate. You know, I, I grew up going to these places when I was a kid, you know, mini golf was something that you got to do it was a lot of fun and I really enjoyed it as a kid and it's a real shame places like this are really going out you know unfortunately kids these days they don't want to go out and do activities at places like this they want to stay inside and play video games and all that good stuff which it's unfortunate but man this I had some of the most fun at places like this family fun centers and things like that and ultimately you know, I'd, I'd like to get the chance to take my little boy out to places like this once I get him back, you know. It's just one of the things I like about going to places like this is, is I get to sort of live that, you know. Even though I don't really get to have him right now, I don't really know where he is. I get to have that experience, you know, and have it on camera for him one day to see. And, uh, of course, I get to talk about him and talk to him essentially through these videos. And that's a big reason why we do what we do. It's a big, th it's a, it's a big part of what our brand really stands for. Don't be very careful here. It's super slick, but look at this. Somebody spray painted all over the place. Uh oh. Yeah, we didn't get to go into here last time. She mentioned that people were coming under here and actually 
getting into the building from under here and they fixed that problem since but you can really tell tons of people have been down here the spray paint can there all kinds of garbage <laughs> it sounds really crazy you can hear Joe walking in there I don't like the sound of that man Gotta be real careful with places like this. A lot of beer cans. It's like people are just coming in here and killing beer. This is cool. How often do you get to go into buildings like this? Plastic bottles. Stuff's really soft right now. Hello? Holy moly. That's a baby ibis. Tell me that long beak. It really sounds like somebody's walking around. I think I might take the other direction though. It might be a little easier. I don't bump my head. Pieces of green. The water seepage. Spray painted walls. It should be really cool to be able to save this place, make it into something, you know. If not like a golf course, like something else. It's weird. I right, just took a spider web to the mouth, but there's no spider webs. There's that little hangy thing, but that didn't. I certainly didn't walk through that. Hmm. Somebody mentioned on the vlog channel, like spider webs and stuff for actually walking through spirits. Also, could have just been a spider web. <laughs> I am underneath the building. I don't know what these used to be used for. These big tanks. Because they're under here. Oh, uh, well, you know what? They pressured these lines, so maybe this was to the sprinkler system. There's tubes running above, so that might have been like a mist thing. Like they have a theme park to cool you down. Look at all these tickets, man. As a kid, this is like the most important thing on the planet. Well, I don't even think they do this like this anymore. I think they do like cards. But I remember this was like ridiculous. We were all freaking trying to get as many of these little things as we could, get these dinky little cheap toys. <laughs> but we, you don't care as a kid, man. You want you want the little thingies. Of course, we picked the most irritating board to take off. Ow. Woo! You should be smelly. That's coins. Stephanie Schmilly Schmilly There's more stuff scattered around, but there's less things. Looks like somebody just took all of the tickets and spread them all over the floor. All the toys are gone, though. Alright, let's try to climb through without hurting myself. Awesome. So I made it in without completely destroying my nuts. So that's good. Oh, there's a charger. If I need it, I guess. Some, some, some coinage. So 70 cents. I 
or 65 cents rather. I can't do math, apparently. Well, a lot of things have changed. As you can see, they put boards down because people were literally coming in from the floor. <laughs> And it seems they just splattered green paint all over the place. I don't know why that would be fun, but somebody did. Yeah, they did. And they're fairly small shoe sizes, so probably kids. Fancier tickets. These are yellow colored. Somebody's busted in this doorway. Batting cages. These used to be batting cages. There actually used to be an arcade next to this place, so I believe the batting cages were over there. But the softball, slow pitch, and baseball. Helmet required. Hey. Huh? All right, is everything all right? Oh yeah. All right, so I must have heard you coming in here. That's what it was. Did you hear anything in here? Yeah, I heard talking. I definitely heard talking. Heard talking in here, right? Yeah. Yeah. I know it's freaky, that bathroom that's boarded, like there's that little board on the bottom. Yeah. I heard a voice in there. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave for all of it. I just wanna make sure he's all right, man. It's just kind of weird. Oh yeah, yeah, no, I'm all good. Right. That's weird. I wonder if Joe wrote that. The flamethrower. Yeah, pound bleak. So perfectly good pencils. Super sharp pencils. Hmm. All right. 
right, Rob's way over there, so I don't think I was hearing Rob. Hey, Rob! There were voices in there, man. Yes! I'm pretty sure, man. I think I heard voices in there. Yeah. You heard stuff out there too? Uh huh. Oh wow! All right. <laughs> that's just okay. That's crazy. Rob said he heard voices out here. Now again, keep in mind there is road interference. Um, but still. those garbage bags down there. Alright, so this is underneath. And of course there's this tunnel. Spray painted now. here. Hello, Mr. Lizard. Look at that, like an albino lizard. Wow, under here is really low ceiling. I'm gonna, when I come back by myself, I'm going to use the Necrophonic app here as well. And see what I capture possibly. It depends on really, honestly, like if I captured anything already. is probably locked tight. Yep. It's probably just raw by here. Looks like there's two eyes looking at me. Maybe it's a raccoon or something under that bush? <laughs> or a rat or something? I don't know. I, I really can't go through here anyway. It's too, too narrow, but it just goes to another staircase that you can't get out of. You can't get past, rather. Oh, and here comes the rain. Literally rains every single day in Florida. It's rained literally for like every day for the past three months. I mean, it's really quiet here. I mean, there is a road over there, but there's really no cars passing right now. What a shame. I had so many good times here with my kids. And then your kids get older and 
like I said, my oldest two used to come here first, and, you know, they loved it, but then they kind of outgrew this place and decided it was no longer a cool place to come. There's definitely swamps here too, look at that. I guess this used to, well, probably, if I remember correctly, this was always filled with water. You just, in Florida, that could mean all kinds of things. Snakes, alligators, Thus far, I really only heard stuff inside, but you never really know what you may capture. They say places hold energies, and I believe that to be true. I don't know, maybe 10 o'clock at night, and there's lots of cars that pull around this place. I don't understand why. Now, there's a Dairy Queen over there, but these cars aren't going to the Dairy Queen, so it's just, you get these ominous people that come around here at night. It is a little, uh, a little ominous, I guess is the word I'm looking for, right? It's just, why are they here, you know? And I, I would imagine People are probably passing by also thinking, why are there lights at this abandoned place? But we have permission. Hey, Rob? What is that? Was it? Hey, Rob, is that you? Rob? Ooh, that was really weird. I gotta find out where Rob is. I, I just heard something up there. I don't think he's on the side of the building. Okay, let me make sure that we're the only ones here and that Rob's okay. Where is he? I don't want any, uh, buddy to show up here on us. Let me find Rob. Why is this flashlight almost dead? Are you serious? <sighs> Get over here. It's crazy as I heard what sounded like somebody walking right there, and then I also heard somebody talking, and I don't know where Rob is exactly, so let me go find him. Wait a second. It's a maze going through here for real. Um, it's possible that Rob went inside, but I'm not sure. Oh yeah, he is inside. Whew. I knew I heard something up here. Check on him just to be on the safe side. Hey, you okay? Huh? Alright, is everything alright? Oh yeah. Alright, so I must have heard you coming in here, that's what it was. Did you hear anything in here? Yeah, I heard talking. Heard talking in here, right? Yeah. yeah. You know it's freaky that bathroom that's boarded like has that little board on the bottom? Yeah. I heard a voice in there. 
All right, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna leave for all, but I just want to make sure he's all right, man. It's kind of weird. All right. Ooh. <laughs> See, there's a lot of cars keep circling around us here. Honestly, you know, the unfortunate thing is a lot of these places are used for really nefarious reasons, unfortunately and this place is one of them. It's sad because this used to be a place for like kids and families and you know. Now it's a uh, real creepy, creepy place. I want to give a special shout out to the owners of this building who own USA Benefits Group in Spring Hill, Florida. What you guys did for us tonight was amazing. Um, we always love doing abandoned places. I just always find them so intriguing and fascinating, and I've been doing that since I was a kid. It's just something I really enjoy. Is this place haunted? I mean, I thought I heard voices. Would you say the same? Yeah. I didn't really hear anything outside. What about you, outside? I heard a couple things when I was down there, but that could have been echoes from anywhere. Right, right. Definitely heard stuff inside, though. Yeah, definitely. It was weird, because when I went in, that bathroom seemed to, like, like I really thought I heard a voice in there, and then I thought, like, Somebody's hiding behind this door, especially that little piece of cardboard on the bottom. So anyway, it was uh, really cool. I'll probably come back for an alone challenge. We got to reseal this up. The worst part is coming back for an alone challenge is I got to come here and before I just shoot, I got to unscrew that again. <laughs> and it's it's, uh, it's going to be scary. But anyway, guys, hope you have a wonderful night. Love and peace.